What happens if the moon crashes into Earth? Let's find out. Drop the moon! Precisely 12 days from now, the moon is going to smash into Earth. But with every day that passes, the moon gets closer and life on Earth changes more and more. Watch until the end to see if anything actually survives. It's day one and the moon's just a little brighter than usual. Villagers be chilling and fishing. But what's this? The tide seems to be a little more aggressive than usual. These axolotls getting washed up on shore. It's day two and damn, looks like the tide got worse and the fishing camp completely flooded. <laughs> These boys are like, screw this, we're out. This guy is mad because his supplies all got wrecked by the salt water. Yo, these trees have been juicing. What's because of all the extra water? Day three and damn, the flood is getting so bad. Water animals are coming onto the land and mutating. Check this. A squid is beefing with an ocelot over a sheep. Land dolphins hunting chickens? Bruh, this drowned zombie is just confused. Flooding completely wrecked all the villages along the coastline. And villages are migrating to the desert. Looks like they built like a major city. Bruh, did somebody say wall? Must have built that using all the lumber from the steroid trees. Hey, look, it's the homie. Looks like he's going around and preaching apocalypse, but the villager media does not condone. Fake news! Sheesh! Is this a secret government meeting? This dude must be the president, looking all official and shit. <laughs> no, the general just told the president that gravity is all messed up, so their space satellite just randomly drifted off into space. Pressure's on. What's the president gonna do? <laughs> Yo, what? Instead of telling the people what's up, the president just threw a free concert to distract them. Day four and bruh, gravity is getting even more messed up. The earth is getting squeezed. Good news for the villager city though, cause it's up on a hill now. Damn, there's earthquakes and volcano eruptions happening everywhere. And they're opening up portals to the nether. Uh, looks like we got some immigration. Oh, that's chill. They're building a war camp right outside the villager city. The wall keeps the piglins out, but how are the villagers going to get food and supplies? It's a stalemate. It's day five and yo, how are these villagers not panicking? Oh yeah, the president controls the media, so they have no idea what's happening outside the wall. Our guy, the traitor, or should I say prophet, because he's gaining followers by the day. Damn, the president threw the prophet in jail for spreading fake news. They're saying that any villager that supports the prophet is also going to jail. Bro, the president straight up denies any rumors that there's a piglin army right outside the wall. Instead, he's randomly enlisting villagers to participate in a military training program. Yo, what? The military training program was all a lie. These villagers are actually getting sent to war with the piglins. Are they riding land dolphins? Damn, the piglins slapped the villagers in the first battle. It's day six and gravity got so hectic that the moon got stretched out like an egg. And it's not even orbiting around Earth no more. It's so close to Earth now that it just looks frozen in the sky. There's like no more day and night. Half the Earth is completely flooded and it's always night. But the other half, is like a desert and it's always lit up. Because of the conditions, food sources completely dry up for the piglets. Yo, they're starving out here. The piglin leader has no choice but to offer a truce to the president. But he's got one condition. The president has to accept the piglins as refugees into the city. Day seven. <sighs> Bro, this villager leader is a savage. He's gonna turn down the piglins because he doesn't want his people to know that he's been lying. Yo, the prophet escaped the prison. Where's he going though? Oh, snap. He snuck into the president's <laughs> office. Bro, he just opened the gate. The piglins are coming to town. President has no choice but to let them stay now. The man just got caught in 4K for lying. <laughs> no, he didn't. The president just took full credit for letting the piglins in. It's day eight and these ties are getting out of hand. Even the desert areas are starting to flood. Volcanoes and earthquakes are getting worse too. Oh snap, the big boy just showed up. Damn, 
Volcanic ash is contaminating the air and causing light to reflect back into space. Now there's acid rain too? And snow in the desert? One of the piglin scientists is trying to warn the president that soon the entire earth is gonna be unlivable. He's saying that they gotta build an escape rocket and try to save as many people as possible. Okay, okay. Looks like the president is finally listening. Shh, the man's gonna give a speech. Bruh, he did not. He just blamed all the irregular weather conditions on the Ender Dragon. And he organized a team of celebrities called the Speedrunners to slay the Ender Dragon. It's day nine and yo, Speedrunners are going off. They're really about to take down the Ender Dragon. Not? Got him. It's day 10 and the prophet is meeting up with the scientist. Ah. Damn, they're mapping out how long it would take to build the rocket ship. The scientist saying at least three days though. That's one day's too many, sir. Day 11, and looks like the president's holding another rally. Ah. Bruh, he's saying the future looks bright and there's nothing to worry about. That's a lie. Just look around. Yo, what? The prophet just showed up. <laughs> he's trying to convince everyone to join him and help him build the rocket ship before it's too late. Looks like he's actually convincing the crowd. Oh snap! The Ender Dragon just pulled up. The president just called up the speedrunners, and the crowd is hyped. Uh, what? It's day 12, and oh snap! The moon just landed. Yo! It hit Earth's atmosphere and cracked into a bunch of giant meteors. The moon's meteors got caught in Earth's orbit. Damn! They're falling onto Earth. Most of them are falling into the water and heating it up, turning it into lava. Sheesh! The lava is flooding and killing everything that's left. Bruh, it's gonna spill over the city walls. Damn! Guess the next election doesn't matter so much if you're dead. There's no way anyone survived that. Yo, what? It's the spaceship. Guess it never got finished so it couldn't fly. At least it's lava proof. Day 13, the moon's gone and the tides are going back to normal. The earth is completely reset. Life is starting to regrow. Yo, it's the prophet and scientist. They made it.